We are back. Yes, welcome to season okay, let's update the four. For oh, but it's ready. season two for me. Okay, Just to confuse the hell out of you, we're gonna go. But we're gonna we're gonna go with the O R um, season. So it's season four, uh, round three. I've missed two rounds, unfortunately. Um, went to America on holiday, and and I've just missed two rounds. I've missed my favorite. Well, one of my favorite tracks. I've missed Bahrain. So. Uh, but I got to I got to avoid Australia. I hate that track. <laughs> um, now, uh, yeah, had a bit of issue here in Quali. It it is dry Quali going into wet though. Um, but as you can see here, I'm hitting uh, some of my buttons t that are normally bound to do a certain thing, and it's changing my camera. So for some reason, I come back first race, it's decided that it wants to unbind my controls, um, which is not ideal considering that the rain is coming and that basically first lap out is going to be the best time to put in because you're going to be on dries and then and then everyone's just going to be on to inters. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't fix the issue in time. It went round for a lap uh, on the um, AI controlled uh, thing, um, and I've, I've I haven't been able to get in my fastest time in. So unfortunately, uh, I do still go out um, onto inters, but yeah, quite frustrating that I couldn't put in the uh, fastest possible time. So this is me on uh, my first flying lap on the Inters, as I say. Um, going into the weekend, my first thoughts, so going into the season, just in general. Um, I didn't have high hopes, I'm going to be honest. I did not have high hopes for, for the, I don't have high hopes for the race or the season in general in terms of just earning points. Um, we've been mixed with some of the T4 boys from last season and we're being mixed in with the T3 boys as well from last season, so the likes of Yehoot, Hashtag Turtle, um, other names I can't remember, Mighty Poo, I think he was in Tier 3, um, just some really, really quick guys that uh, I was just never going to be able to, well, beat. Um, so, and looking at the last two races, Brado, who was our T5 winner from last season, uh, he was far down the order, so there are some quick guys in this tier, so um, this season I've basically set my sights on just, just getting as many points as I can. I don't expect to be top three, I don't expect to be top five even, I, I don't even potentially expect to be top eight, if I'm being completely honest. Um, that's how slow I feel uh, against some of these other races. So. Um, you'll get a list of who we're competing up against at the end of qualifying, so you'll see who our uh, main competitors are. Um, one of them is a reserve driver, I think, um, Coop. I, I keep wanting to say co-op, but um, Coop. Uh, as uh, we come across the line, we're going to put in our first um, banker lap there. But yeah, having said all that, that was my, my feelings for the weekend and, and the entire season as a whole. So um, yeah, let's just see what, um, what we can make out of it. So, second quality run, we're going to try and improve our grid placing of uh, 14, 14th on the grid. Uh, first corner is not too bad, second corner, you can cut a little bit more there, but you do want to be careful because you are going to get a warning um, to get a couple of those in the race. Um, come down the back straight, put it up into fourth uh, on the NRS mode, um, coming down the straight, down into third, I believe, um, so that we're not wasting all our deployment. That was an okay corner through there, a little squirrely on the exit. Coming out wide, kissing the curb, that's beautiful. You don't want to touch that inside one, that's um, just about an almost a um, auto spin curb. Uh, not too bad through there, probably could have carried a bit more speed. Little squarely on entry through here um, as we come around to turn whatever that is. I've got no idea. Um, I don't know the turn number, so I apologize. Um, coming in through here, this was not a bad spot for overtakes. Um, I stewed the T4. Uh, guys as well, and I saw a couple of people do some overtaking there as well as um, within our my own race. Uh, coming on to base the set, the penultimate corner, the penultimate corner. Uh, again, not a bad exit through there. The lap wasn't too bad. We're up by about 1.1 seconds. So I'm really crossing my fingers here that we're going to just move up a couple of places. But uh, upbeat Quag, who's ahead of us, is on the soft, so uh, it's unlikely, and uh, it it is <laughs> fortunately. So here is the absolutely fierce competition. Jeremy up the top, uh, Skins coming in second, and uh, Yehu, my teammate, absolute top bloke, uh, rounding out your top three there. Got a brief look at 
um, who the rest of the competitors are that were the, the two or three that were behind me. Um, so feel free to pause the video to have a look at that. Uh, but let's um, let's get onto the race and see what we can make of this. So the weather for the uh, the race was dry going into wet. Um, I started on the softs, uh, given that the weather looked as though it wasn't going to hit for 20 minutes, uh, which is quite a few laps, and the super softs don't really last all that long around here. Uh, so the strategy was to go on the softs, and hopefully by the time the rain hit, um, we'd be good to go on to the uh, inters. And as you'll find out, that strategy didn't fare too badly, to be honest. So here we go, we've got five red lights for the very first race of the season. It's not a great one. We uh, have got Maserati on our side here. We are going to lose that spot, unfortunately, uh, as there's some cars going three wide through turn um, one and two. We are going to lose a spot to Coop as well. So there's two positions down, unfortunately. We are now the uh, <laughs> the penultimate driver. I love that word. Um, not a great start. Uh, well, no, well, it was okay. Yeah, we didn't lose a wing. We still got all the cars out on the track, looks like. Um, yeah, see, even Jeff thinks it was alright. So it's, it's just a matter of reeling in as many points as we can. As I said, I don't expect uh, a points finish, um, or, if, or if we do get points, it's going to be maybe 10th or 9th. As I say, the calibre uh, of the competition that we're now in is, is higher. Um, and we've got all the good T5 races, uh, uh, drivers from, from T5. So Braddo's in, Bevs is in, Maserati, Wire It Up, Combat Rat, uh, Skins towards the end of the season was in. We all know that they were all really good drivers. So um, I don't think I'm forgetting anyone. If I am, I apologize. Uh, so yeah, so Caliber is high. There's, we've got high level T5 drivers. I think there's some T4 drivers in here somewhere who I assume are high Caliber. And the T3 boys are all in here as well. So gonna be a tricky race. Co-op going into the pits. I think he broke a wing on the first lap there. Uh, barged into um, Maserati. So there's another free spot to us up into P15, I think that is. Yes. So now it's just a matter of reeling in Maserati and his uh, his teammates ahead of him. Uh, we've got Wired up behind us, uh, who, who could possibly be a threat. And so, just have to do a bit of a burp, but I'm going to leave that in. Uh, yeah. So we're on to lap four. We've caught up to the back of uh, Twixer. I think is that Twixer. I'm just going to call him Twix. Um, which are for kids, mate. <laughs> um, getting a little off topic here, but we've caught up to the back of them. Um, car has felt really good up to this point. Um, it is geared for a wet setup though, so I am running a bit more downforce than what I normally would for dries potentially. But we are coming up onto the back of uh, Twix here we're quite hard, and I just think let's fucking set. <laughs> um, yeah, lunging pretty hard there, but um, get the move done, no contact, so quite happy with that. Um, yeah, did, did use a lot of ERS to try and catch up to him, but um, we do start to pull away, I believe, from memory. Uh, yeah, absolutely, just lunge that one. I figured we're at the back, no one's in a point turning position. Um, let's just, yeah, send it. Um, so we did. So that's P14, so we've reclaimed. Uh, reclaimed back uh, the two positions that we've lost so now it's just a matter of um, trying to reel in Maserati uh, as you can see on the mini map the, 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 there's a few cars still up ahead that um, we could potentially catch up to with um, a few good laps and well crossing my fingers that they have a couple of bad laps to really reel them in so yeah coming on to uh, lap 7 we catch up to the back of Maserati and uh, yeah have a little bit of go around this corner Bide my time, thought about doing the switch back, but that didn't really work, and then just went up the inside there. It was just had a much quicker exit. Um, I don't know whether he was letting me pass. Um, it, it felt like I had too much power through there. I, I felt like it wasn't... I, I don't know what was going on. Um, uh, but, yeah, managed to just slide by um, Maz there. So, that's another position. Yeah, now, so we're right in that switch period where... We're not sure whether drives or inters feel good as Maserati has a go back at me and gets the job done. But I'm gonna I'm gonna fight him for it down the inside. There's a little bit of wheel touching, but I let him go. I'm not gonna fight him too hard for that one. Um, there's a caution up ahead. I think that was Combat Rat. Okay, so that's now um, now up into P13. Uh, go for a. D 
dive. Just thought about it. Again, there's nothing to really lose at the moment. I don't, obviously don't want to damage his wing. I don't want to do that. I don't want to cause anyone any damage or ruin anyone's races. Um, but just going for something slightly more risky um, than maybe what I normally would. I think I'm trying to check here for the weather again. Um, this rain could be with us for a while. Light rain conditions for the foreseeable future. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Yeah, so dry still seem like the fastest tyre. I'm not so sure. I'm starting to feel the tyres go a little bit. Uh, and I was the first um, of okay, the drivers to make the, make the call. Um, I thought I stayed out longer, but now apparently I go in now. So, yeah, the tyres just weren't feeling right. They were feeling... Uh, I could feel the car slipping and sliding around, pushing the same amount that I would on any other lap. And so I thought, it's time to go in. It's time to put on the Inters. Uh, and, yeah, I was the first of the drivers to do it. Um, wasn't too early. Um, so you might be sitting here thinking, oh, geez, that, that looks a little bit too early if all the, you know, top-level runners or the higher, up the, higher up the order are uh, pitted. But it... it I think as I came out, or maybe the next lap, they disabled the DRS, and then everyone came in. So I actually think it was a, a probably pretty good call. I honestly think another lap, and I would have lost a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that was the call that we made. So we're on the inters um, as Coop gets around us, but uh, he he will have to pit in the next lap or two. So we will we will catch that position back up. Lap 11, and uh, we have actually jumped Max Cream. I don't know where he was or where he started, but we have jumped him. Um, Twix has, uh, yeah, there we go, DRS is disabled. I, I probably came in maybe a lap or two too early, but honestly, the Inters were feeling better as soon as I put them on. So, um, despite what might be presented to me on screen in terms of DRS and in terms of, um, you know, what everyone else is doing, uh, I felt better uh, on the inters and I caught up to the back of Wired Up um, who, who will have passed me uh, during that pit stop uh, and overtook him and he's still on the softs behind me so um, I do uh, shut up Jeff so I do feel like it was the right call so we're just going to catch up to Twix now who has pitted for inters so um, he's managed to get around us uh, and we just have to try and hold off Max Cream who does does put the pressure on this race uh, or for, for the sort of middle Stint, if he really does put the pressure on. At some point, though, he falls back. Um, I was honestly fearful that he was going to take uh, take a position off me. Um, but at some point, he I don't know whether he loses grip or, or what happens, but he does fall away significantly behind me. Uh, didn't see what it was, though. Look, honestly, thankfully, he didn't have DRS. Otherwise, he would have had me down a couple of those straights. We've got a virtual safety car up ahead. Someone's gone off. I do think we get to see it, because I think it was through here somewhere. Yes, it's Tequiem. Tequiem, uh, Max Cream's teammate, has uh, gone off the rails, unfortunately. Uh, we're now down to 14 drivers. This is starting to become a, uh, yeah, a race of attrition, uh, which always seems to be the case with wet weather. Uh, races, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, race has been neutralised a little bit here. Um, we've got Max Cream right behind us. Um, and, yeah, just need to wait for this to end. Yeah, you can just see on the minimap how bloody close Max Cream has gotten up to me. Uh, yeah, this is lap 16, virtual safety car has ended, uh, and Max Cream is giving me a headache. Um, all that cream, all that headache. <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly thought he was going to get me uh, at some points here. Uh, we just got to fend him off. Um, haven't done another pit stop, going to need to. As you can see, the tyre wear uh, is down at 33% or something like that. Um, Managing the ERS and fuel well, uh, and well, well, good. I'm doing it well. Um, fucked up that sentence completely. And you can see I'm putting a bit of a gap between myself and Max Cream. And I think another lap or two um, is when he falls away. Um, but yeah, we are going to need to pit again for another set of inters. As you can see, um, the rears are, are quite worn. Uh, I think I pit on lap 20 or something like that. Um, yeah, again, thank God we didn't have DRS, otherwise he would he would have 100% had me down any number of these straights, so... You know, just watch that mini-map, just watch that light blue dot behind me. Yeah, you can, you can see something happens right there. He's obviously pushed too hard or something's going on, uh, but he, yeah, fades away. So, it just gives me a bit of breathing room. Um, 
to pursue um, Twix and uh, I assume that's um, oh no sorry it's Maserati uh, in front and uh, Twix ahead Now here I can only assume he was talking about upbeat quag in the Ferrari because that was the driver at the time that Jeff told me about that so I assume that's why he's in the pits now uh, is because of a damaged front wing but that puts us up into P10 so I'm, I'm in a points paying position now so I'm kind of can't uh, now it's starting to get serious <laughs> well for me for me it is because now I'm in a points paying position I didn't think I was going to be anywhere near this part of the uh, part of the race so um, so now it's kind of like a oh uh, well kind of hold on to this position now, you know, I'm not just fucking about, I'm not just having a nice race, I'm now legitimately going to earn some points here, so I'm going to start to buckle down. Uh, and now Wired's up, uh, Wired up is now out of the race, now there's only 13 uh, drivers to fight with. Situation, but I don't think we have cause to move on to a different tyre yet. Okay, that last lap was a 1 minute 20.2. So, second middle stint. Uh, people have all come in for, well, people around me have come in for their pit stops, so the um, order's been shaken up a little bit. We've got past Maserati uh, in the pit stop, we've got up uh, upbeat Quag in front of us. Front is 7 .9 yep, seconds. by 7.9 seconds. Thank you, Jeff. Um, but it's going to be dry towards the end of the race. Ooh, I know. So that begs the question, how dry is it going to be? How soon? When we get around Max Creams, he's going to go in for his pit stop, so that's us up into, um, back up into P10. So, yeah, the qu it begs the question, when and for how long will it be dry? <laughs> and is it worth putting on dry? So now it's a question of, yeah. When, when, when is this happening? When's the, okay, where's the rain going to be? Minute, I'm just checking my um, lap times because they are coming down. They were in the 20s, now they're in the 19s, and then I got down to the low 19s. So it was definitely starting to dry up. And again, I was just going by feel on these tyres as to how they were feeling and how I felt the performance was. Um, and just every lap, just asking the race engineer what was going on gauging and surmising but as we come towards the pointy end of the race you can see see some calls have started to be made Twix up ahead has gone on to the super softs uh, but as we come around turn one something funny happens we yeah um, and combat as you can see combat rats also on the super soft so some early calls being made um, uh, yeah I'm just pulling way ahead so some Dare I say some bad calls, boys? I'm sorry. Um, what I think happened with Twix was, uh, I think what had happened, and it's happened a couple of times in the race, um, as uh, Coops um, retired. Unfortunately, we've lost a couple of the drivers there. Actually, I'll show you what happened there in a moment. Um, but uh, I think what happened with Twix was that he's hit the pit wall, probably gone sideways, pushing too hard on the super softs, and they're just not ready for the track. Uh, and he's, he's blocked the pit lane. And uh, the game has just chucked him onto the onto the racetrack. So thankfully, it happened when it didn't. I ghosted through him. Otherwise, another couple of tenths, um, and I may have run at the back of him. Uh, but here's what was going on behind me. Out of the pits for Mighty Poo into fifth position, which is I think where he would have been anyway. But oh no, just in time to say goodbye to. He's to come up over this side. What? Yeah, it's a pit. It's a glitch. What? The Brazil, so you don't block the pit lane. It'll kick you back onto the track. Oh, no! 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 Oh, sh Max! Oh, oh I've been no! Up and up on... the coop. What? That is a huge crash. Oh my Jesus! So that was what was going on behind me. I've managed to get up into P6 um, as a result. Um, we've also lost upbeat Quag. So. Hell of a race here. Um, super softs, not the answer. Um, I, I, I sort of knew, I sort of knew that during the race. I sort of looking at all these guys going to super softs. I'm going, 
two early boys and not the right call. If you wanted to give that a crack, I would have gone over the sauce because they have a better um, temperature working range. They uh, Because the track's still cold. It's only just stopped raining and the track's still cold. And as you can see, there's my first warning for the race. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm just I'm gliding past Franco, who's, you know, one of the quicker drivers, and that's me up to P5. So, yeah, unfortunately, dare I say again, not too early of a call, I think. Um, again, the car just felt fine under Inters. Um, it is getting to that stage, though, where it's, we're not, it's starting to become working for maybe medium, possibly softs. Um, some of us, and me included, are thinking about just staying on the Inters. There's only six laps to go. Can we make that? So, a lot of questions going on through my head. I assume similar questions going on for uh, other drivers as well. So, all to play for. For some reason, so where? How did I? How the fuck did I get here? Honestly, <laughs> I did not expect to be in P5 at all. Even just to hold on to it for a brief, fleeting moment. Okay, the time last lap was a one minute twenty-one point zero. That's it. It's go time, boys. That's hundred percent what I needed to hear. A one twenty-one is a slow, bloody lap time now. Uh, and my suspicions will only be confirmed at the end of this lap uh, where the race officials turn on uh, DRS, DRS becomes active um, on this lap. So I, I, I think I've called it honestly because Franco is now starting to catch me. The Super Sauce are now the fastest tyre out on track so it is a hundred percent time to switch because I'm going to lose places to Franco uh, and potentially I think that's Maserati behind it. There we go, DRS is enabled. So yeah, 100%. It's time to do it. Still a couple of laps to go. Worth doing. Worth dual lux. Okay, gap ahead is 7.2 seconds. Yep, so Maserati ahead of us has... Uh, he's probably one of our last remaining drivers to make the call to stay on the Inters. Um, he had fresher tyres than I did, so there was fear that he was going to uh, overtake me. We're on lap 35, we're on the penultimate lap. Um, P8 at the moment, I mean, shit, that's not bad innings uh, for where I thought I was going to be. God, why did I do that? I hate cricket. Um, I don't know, well, okay, I take it back. I don't hate cricket, I just find it hard to watch. Um, playing's not so bad. Watching, different story. Uh, we're getting way off base here. Right, so Maserati has stayed out on the Inters. He's seven seconds away. If my theory and my thoughts have, need, they need to be confirmed, I need to catch him, and uh, well, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, as you can see, the the super softs are 100% the fastest tyre. In hindsight, should I have pitted? I, I mean, I, yeah, I think I, I think I would have been in this position anyway, potentially. Um, maybe one ahead at this very moment, uh, because I would have still been on the inters. Inters now the slower tyre, uh, and uh, Mighty Poo and. Um, Oh my god, I'm sorry, I forgot the other bloke's name, the McLaren, both McLarens would have gotten around me. So, here we go, it's the last bloody lap, I just, he's he's defending really hard, he's putting the car in the middle of the fucking track and defending really hard, he's damn well the slowest car, and I just think, nah, I don't fucking have time for this, if I'm gonna get P5, let's do it! There's a bit of contact, there's a bit of contact, uh, a bit of a cunt move, <laughs> um, but uh, I, I hope there's no hard feelings, Baz. It's uh, it, it is just racing, and I, I do respect him. I do respect you as a driver, mate. You're, you're very hard to beat sometimes. Um, so P7, uh, as we come across the line, um, at a point there he did have more pens than I do, but I think we were even by the time that last lap came around. And what could make that race even sweeter but my teammate on the podium, congratulations to you, an absolute stellar race mate, uh, beating out hashtag turtle, I think, uh, and maybe that's Jeremy in third, we're going to see in a second, I'm, I'm still getting used to everybody's names, um, come on, get to the, get to the race results, come on. Hey, there they are, the power of editing, yeah it was Jeremy, okay so there are your top three, um, yeah. Race of attrition, a um, lot of lot of outs, a lot of penalties there too. Um, but it, uh, that was a race. That was the first race for the season. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I sure as hell enjoyed it. Uh, I had much more fun than I thought I was going to have. Uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. We have got uh, China um, next week. So um, tune in then.